Hello there folks, it is Toby from TIJ Gaming and welcome today to my first episode of the League Mode on Rugby 20. This is very exciting, I haven't done a career mode on a rugby game before and today, this is the day. If you are new to the channel, hello and welcome, I'm going to be doing regular Rugby 20 content. Um, I've got a code for this game from Dead Good Media, so thank you very, 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 very much to those guys. But that's not going to be used as a review code, this is going to be reused as a full fat code to play as many possible episodes on this game. Because I'm really excited for this game. I would have probably bought the game anyway. But it's even sweeter, isn't it? When you uh, get it for free. But of course, as I said in my previous videos, I'm not affiliated with the company. So my opinions about the game are going to comp uh, be completely unbiased. And with further ado, without any further ado even, let's get into the league mode. So this is basically just like a FIFA career mode, really. And we are going to go with Wasps uh, for this Gallagher Premiership Rugby season, simply because it's the closest club to me. I know that they were in London before, but they have recently relocated to Clark Coventry, which out of all the clubs is the closest um, to me. Now, they haven't, won a, they haven't won the league since 2008. They were champions back in 2008 and finished 8th um, out of 12 last year. So, a bit of a challenge for us to get Wasps up to the top, as, you, as it says there. Welcome to League Mode. In this mode, you play as a team from a division or league of your choice and try to take it to the top. You'll manage your team, just done like in a real season, and play or simulate season matches from the calendar. So let's choose Wasps and let's go with it, shall we? So, Wasps against Bristol Bears is the first match. We're going to get straight into it here, it seems. Um, we've no real tutorial, so we're going to have to get straight into it, and I'm probably going to have to get the controls up uh, because I've only played the... Uh, First few matches in terms of just like uh, gameplay. If I can find the bloody, uh, I can find these. Probably can't, so I'll have to get them up in just a minute. Um, but this is a very nice screen. So we've got 24 matches. Um, we will play against each team twice, presumably. There's 11 teams um, that we play against now. Just to be, just for clarification, I am not the most knowledgeable at rugby at all. Um, never claim to be, never have been. But I do enjoy watching the rugby. I haven't really watched it at league stage, but uh, it seems that we're going to learn a lot about it. Possibly together if you guys aren't uh, much of a rugby fanatic. But those of you who are rugby fanatics, I'm sure you can correct me on everything we get wrong. Um, and we can learn together throughout this season. I'm really excited to get it started. So if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to leave it a like. On part ones of anything, really likes, comments, etc. In, uh, interaction and engagement are the most important thing they really are. So if you sat there thinking, eh, do I leave a like? It would be great if you did. That would be absolutely fantastic. Um, so let's get into the game, shall we? So there's already been three games... Oh, sorry, two games played. Saints, Saracens and Harlequins. Well, where are Sar uh, Saracens? Ah, right, okay. So they got four points because they won the match. So Saints got one point because defensive bonus. Right, that makes sense. And then the other team that lost Bath didn't get any points because they didn't get any sorts of bonuses. So we've had two matches so far. Saints have played Saracens. Uh, Saracens won that match. And Harlequins beat Bath in style. And we're going to play against Bristol Bears in our first match. But let's have a quick look first at the team. So I don't know many of these players looking down. I don't really know many of them, to be honest, um, by name. But I'm sure we'll learn over time. Uh, no, I'll admit, I probably... If I, uh, no, I don't think I know any of these players. So we'll learn together. We can only really go by their stats at the moment. I only really know um, some of the main players. And you'll probably be going, Toby, he's a main player. But I'm not much of a rugby fan, so I can't really tell. Um, but let's just score, sort the score. I mean, again, Jimmy Coppoff um, is a player that for some reason isn't playing. So I think we ought to change that. Um, let's compare him to the other fly half. Can we? No, we can't, unfortunately. I mean, he's a score of 64 and an influence 61. But I'm going to change uh, Jimmy Coppoff into the team for him. That makes sense. Um, let's have a look at the influence stats. See if anybody is uh, on the bench that's got some real influence. Because that is always... Uh, very helpful. Now we've got a few players here. We've got Thomas Young, a flanker. Um, he could be a player who comes in. Let's have a quick look at our flankers and who's in the squad. Uh, let's have a look. Brad Shields. I mean, 66 and 58. You have to say, I think Thomas Young would probably, um, on stats, be a player coming in there. But I'm not going to do too much fiddling around because I do trust the selector that, that this is all okay. Um, Tactics, I'm just going to keep exactly the same. So I've got no idea what I'm doing in Italy. Um, but we're going to play on semi pro for these first few matches. I presume you can just change it as you go. Um, but I'm going to quickly get the controls up just to remind myself what I'm doing. And then we'll get into the match. Tonight we have a hugely anticipated game involving Wasps and Bristol. It's a real pleasure to be here tonight with Ben Kay, who will be providing his insight. Ben, thanks for joining us. Good evening, Nick. It's a beautiful day for rugby. I think this pool match should be a cracker. This evening we 
do have two very motivated sides facing each other, but I reckon Wasps are just that much better. Absolutely, Nick. They have a group with more potential. It just remains to be seen if the resistance crumbles. It's that sort of match where you can expect the unexpected. Wasps were formed in 1867 when the Hampstead Club split to form Wasps and Harlequins. Originally based in London's western suburbs, the club are now based in Coventry in the West Midlands. There we go then. Thank you very much, Nick, for that bit of uh, insight. But, as we said, this is a fairly well-matched game. We're slightly better on the overall. I think we're 76 and they're 74. So, as it says there, it's a fairly well-matched game. Uh, they're, ju they're tipping us just to edge it. But let's see how we get on, shall we? It's uh, going to be a 10-minute game. I've done five-minute halves for now. Of course, we might change that uh, in the future. I've only played a few games there, so don't expect too much. But we are off for the start of this career mode. And something we've got to change straight away is that uh, I did do the action for uh, for one of the matches just to show what it's like. Um, but I'm not going to do that this time because uh, I'm just not a big fan, to be honest, of the uh, action. It is their advantage, though, because we did commit a uh, foul by being offside there. But uh, it's definitely advantage... Uh, Bristol Bears now, but they've gone back quite a bit with that. And, uh, yeah, again, apologies for... Uh, oh, we've got the ball. Nice. We've got the ball back. We uh, performed the turnover in the rook very nicely there. But let's see how we get on. Let's get started then in this match again. I'll probably start to change difficulty um, as we get better. But uh, this is going to be an interesting match. Might be very close. Might not be any tries at all. But uh, it's been very high scoring so far, it has to be said. But that is very nice wide ball out. Can we map? We've definitely made up some ground there. That is very, very nice stuff. But again, this is just really a pilot. I'm looking forward to getting into this career mode. Um, but ultimately, I need the support of you guys. So if you guys, as I've said before, do enjoy them, make sure to leave a like. That's a very nice ball out to Bassett. Has he got the legs on him? Not quite. But again... We have made some very good uh, progress there. That's quite nice to see. They're going to be tight, though, in their defence here at Bristol Bears. They don't want to give anything away. Again, this is going to be tricky. Just got to get it out and be patient with this. Something that I haven't got much of. And again, I've not got much rugby knowledge, so when it comes to all the technical stuff, I apologise. I don't really know. I think I know the basics, I think. But we'll soon know. Um, whether I know the basics or not. But that's out to Bassett again. We are struggling though. He has Bassett. Uh, well, four players he, he pushed off there. That was very nice to see. And we did make up some crucial ground. Young though. Oh, not quite getting through. A player was there just about to uh, make the point. But unfortunately, we've lost advantage. And we've lost the possession we've had so far. And uh, Oh no, it's actually our advantage. It's, uh, well, it's, uh, it's for us. Now we could kick for go. But our conversions have been bloody awful so far. So... I don't think we'll go for that. We'll try and get the try, shall we? But, I mean, we pretty much ended up where we were before. So, you can't really argue with that. But I think we should be favourite, really. Unless something goes completely against the run of play to take the first try in this match. 16 minutes in, though. We've got a lot of space out wide. Look at the space that Kibrige has got. Is it Kibrige? I'm not really sure. Again, apologies about the uh, pronunciations. That is something that will improve as well. And I'm sure we'll get to know this team. But Young clattered there. Really just going straight into a... A Bristol player, but Launchbury's there. Oh, can't quite get the pass away. That would have been crucial, really would have been, but they're going to get the ball back. They are. It's a uh, turnover in the rook, and it's actually uh, their advantage because of the foul we conceded, but that is very nice. But, uh, ooh, advantage lost. Knock on. Is it a knock on for them? Well, let's have a look at this. Was it a knock on? Yeah, it was. Well, here comes our first scrum then, 20 minutes in. I'm really enjoying playing this, by the way, where we are. It's uh, a steep learning curve, certainly compared to the last rugby game I played, which was Rugby World Cup 2011, but uh, that goes without saying so. R, S and A. So, I hate these. This is really confusing, I find. But uh, they've got the ball. They've got the ball from the uh, scrum. Again, that's something we'll get better at as we go, I would say. But we've got the ball back straight away. Very nice. Can we get an attack going? Oh, it's straight to... They're defending well here. They are defending very well. McIntyre out wide to Bassett. He's got the legs. Not quite. But dangerous play from uh, Liua there. Gets him a yellow card. I mean, she practically headlocked him down there. Not good enough. We're going to uh, tap and go again, though. Right. I think we just run for it. 
play out though to Bassett. That's nice stuff. Want to be careful it doesn't go out. But uh, this is a bit of a struggle here. So extract, get it out. Nice pass. No, not quite. Add players again. They're really, really trying to just protect anything they can here. Young, down the middle. We're not quite making ground. It has pretty much stayed within a few yards for a real long time now. But advantage lost because of Dan Robson. So is this our foul? It is. It's their scrum. But it's a very tight game so far. We've had the advantage but not been able to get through just yet. So let's see if we can win this bat like they did. So we've got to keep the left stick in there. That's bloody tricky, I'll tell you. But uh, they've got the ball. That is very tricky. Might not look tricky, but this could be a breakaway. This is the problem. Could go against completely against the run of play. And we've got it back. That is lovely stuff. Really lovely stuff in the air. They uh, tried to play it in the air, though, and it didn't come off. Really didn't come off. But we could get to half-time here, you know. Completely scoreless. We have got advantage here, though, I think. Or it could be advantage for them. It's Somebody's got advantage, and they've actually got the ball back for a turnover. That is disappointing to see. Right, we've got the tackle in. We're doing well defensively, it has to be said, when we've uh, had to defend. But equally, they've done even better defensively, it has to be said. But uh, we've lost advantage. Offside from Thomas Young. Is that one of our players? Yeah, it is, but uh, they're kicking for this. Oh, the ball goes into touch. And the ball's gone into touch. Here's the first line out of the match. And uh, it's their line out. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite what we were hoping for there. I mean, this is uh, alarmingly close. I think they are going to get a try here. We're just going to completely ram buttons and hope for the best. Just get this out. Punt it somewhere. No, we can't even get it out. Right, across the left. Punt. That's it. That'll do for now. That removes the pressure slightly, but they're going to make all the ground up. But actually, we didn't do too badly there. It's very, very pleasing to see. We can get it. Nice. Come on, let's try and get this back. We can. We've got it back. It's turned over, but we've missed it. We've lost it. We've got it back, though. But I'd say we've got plenty of time now. Just worry about really running the clock down and avoiding them taking an early lead. Or oh, potentially get a breakaway away. Come on. He's good stuff. Oh, it's not quite going to happen. Neither team can seem to do anything. I have to say the defensive of both have been very good so far. But we just can't seem to do anything. Just got to be patient here. We might as well give this leaders a go. I know it's not uh, out, of our, out of our area just yet. But as soon as we've got possession, it seems silly not to give it a go. But now we've lost possession. That's the risk, of course. And we could potentially concede a try. This doesn't look good. This does not look good. This does not look good. Get it out. Get Just get tackled. Get him tackled. That's it. Lovely. Extract it. And get it out. And that's half time. Whew. Pressure completely off. Nothing yet in that first half from either team. But uh, an interesting start. Uh, I don't think we can have a look at any stats, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look at the team management. Is anybody completely... Is anybody knackered, basically? Uh, McIntyre's had a bit of a drubbing. Uh, and same as Gaskell. Not James Haskell. <laughs> James Gaskell. Um, so I think we might well make two changes at half-time. Uh, have we got a prop? Well, we need a prop and uh, whatever Gaskell is. So we need a prop. Let's have a look and see if we've got a prop on the uh, on the bench. We've got Kieran Brooks, but not really got the rating that we'd be looking for. Um, so it's, I think it's uh, one of these two. But influence, I think that you look the better player. So we'll go with you. Um, and then one more. Which was the one we wanted to change? It was Gaskell. Uh, I don't think we've got FL and L. I'm not particularly sure what FL and L means. Um, if you could enlighten me, please do. Um, because I'm not really sure what he is unless it says. Flanker, flanker, forward, N8, FL, FL, L. So is that flanker and lock? Presumably, I would say so. There we go, number five, lock. Um, so if we've got any lock on the locks on the bench, then that's the that's what we want. Um, it doesn't look like it, does it? Unfortunately, we've got uh, Matthews, not one of the best players, but I think he will do um, because number five, wherever he's gone, he's absolutely knackered. So we don't want to risk an injury, especially this early on in the season. Um, is he on? No, it can't be that because we've just put Gaskell there. Who was it? Gaskell's still there. Swap him with the uh, flanker on the bench. Where is it? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? I've got absolutely... Ah, there we go. Charlie Matthews. Right. 
They're swapped. For some reason, they won't swap. Is it because we can only make one change at half time? No, no idea. But we'll leave it like that for the moment. Hopefully, one side, fingers crossed us, can make a breakthrough. A breakthrough? A breakthrough. Or it might be uh, no score. And that's going to be a pretty boring game to start uh, start off with. But uh, that's that's great camera angle. Just the stand can't see absolutely anything there. But the trick is to get it out. And neither team can do that at the moment. It's advantage for the Wasp at the moment. And advantage has been lost. Callum Sheedy offside. And uh, we're just going to really uh, tap and go I would say here. I understand there's lots of tactical bits we can do to try and get out of this, but at the moment, we're just going to play pretty basic. And really, what I know, which is a good old-fashioned bit of passing it out. And dangerous play from Hughes. That picks him up a yellow card. Let's have a look what Hughes did here. I do love the fast-paced nature of this game. Oh, bloody hell. Really, It really feels... It is tough. And that makes it even trickier to commentate on, as you might well notice. But that's good to Rob Robson, but unfortunately not quite... Uh, doing it at the moment. Hopefully we'll get something in before the end of the match. Or else, oh, there's nobody there. Thank God for that. Well, this is going to be a bit of a worry because there's not really anybody here. We've extracted the ball, though, and we're just going to get that completely out. Get that gone. That's it. We've got some place on... Oh, I mean, that's shocking. Game... Ah, oh, play stop. That would have been really nice on the wing. Only for that was a bit tactical there. We're going to take a penalty kick and just punt it up the pitch. Try that. See how that goes. Are we going to come to regret that? I'm not sure. But hopefully we'll make up some ground. He's just put it straight back at us, which is interesting, I suppose. I mean, the problem is the kits are very similar here, so we can't really tell who's who, but this is good, this is good. Oh, unlucky. Let's make sure we keep it, though, because this is the furthest we've been forward all half. Willis. Zibridge. Go on, he's... Oh. We're making... I think we can do this. It might just be one try in this. It's really cagey, this match, is it has to be said. Really is really cagey. Right. One pass to the left. Oh, not quite. Oh, that's unlucky. Nearly got it away. We're nearly there. Don't want to play this too far back and lose. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. But again, we're just not holding possession for long enough, really. And they've got it back. Well, that's poor. That is poor. But we've got it. We've got it. Come on. That was uh, that was loose. Very loose from Bristol Bears there. Very loose. Really loose. But we've made up some ground. Got to guess the right. Only one player on the right. And that's Zibridge. We're not really making any ground. It has to be said. And that was pretty poor because, well, we didn't get lucky there. I thought we got lucky. I thought we won that back. I thought we won that back. But we have won that back. Oh, yes. Bassett's on the ball. Come on. Run. Run, Bassett. Run like hell. Oh, I mean, we've made some good ground up there. We've made some good ground up, but you can only feel that potentially they're going to get it back, as they do. 20 minutes left in this match. Is there going to be any sort of try? You have to wonder whether there will be. But uh, I think this could be our line -out. It's just a three-man line-out, please. Back of line-out. I'll, I'll, I'll T and RT. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Oh, you idiot. Well, that was just silly. You can probably tell that... Uh, our rugby ability will get a little bit better, I would hope, throughout the episodes, or else we're not really going to go anywhere in this league. But I suppose we'll get a defensive bonus. We won't get much of an attacking bonus, because nobody's done anything attacking, but it has to be said that it has really been all us. It's been a stellar defensive performance from Bristol Bears. Um, but apart from that, not really much happening. I mean, there's nobody here. That's the problem. So they've got it back. This is a worry. This is a worry. This is a worry. Oh, we got it. Jackal for it. No, not quite. Get this. This is worryingly close. This is worryingly close. Get it. And, well, this is worrying. Wasps. I've got the advantage. Just get it out. Just kick it. There we go. That'll do. That just takes the pressure off slightly. Advantage lost because uh, somebody's offside. Is that us offside? No, thank God it's uh, them offside. Right, we're going to take a penalty kick and get it completely out here. Just give it a punt. That'll do. And we make some solid ground up there. That's it. Good challenge. Good challenge. They've lost some ground there. But 10 minutes to go. And I don't think there's going to be anything in this game. So uh, this could be a pretty poor one. But I'll tell you what. One breakaway chance. Especially for them. Because we're not very disciplined in our defence. I'll be completely honest there. I mean we've not really got anybody to the side. That's a worry. Come on. Let's get this back. 
Let's get this back. I mean, well, that's a worry. Surely they're going to go for the conversion if this is an option. No, they're not, I don't think. No, they're just going to play for the line out. So this is worrying. This is uh, very worrying because they might have a chance that this is close. We need to just keep our eye on this. We've only made one substitution, by the way. We've had eight, we can make eight swaps, so that's uh, something that we need to keep our eye on. I mean, we've only got a few minutes to go. This game has gone ridiculously quickly, and uh, it has to be said that nothing's really happened, has it? But that was silly. That was silly. No, no, they've got it. They've done it. Well, that was just silly. We kicked it, tried to get it away. I mean, it was a foolish kick, really. Absolutely bonkers. Well, they took a light lead, and uh, this is uh, gutting, because we're going to lose this just by one little lapse of concentration. We controlled the match. I mean, luckily, he's missed the conversion. That's pretty much a howler, isn't it? But, uh, well, unless we can do something the next five minutes, which we will try with all our might to do. The problem is we haven't got possession. That's one issue. We will try with all our might to win this. Hands in the ruck, though, from Copper. Just getting a little bit too aggressive. And uh, they're just going to try and get this out. I don't blame them, to be honest. So, it's their line out. Well, that's too early. Only a little bit too early, to be fair. We need to win this back, though, so I'm not really bothered about fouls here. There we go. We've won it back. Right. Let's go for this, because... A try and a conversion wins it. They missed their conversion. We want to make them sorry that they missed the conversion. To the left. Out to Bassett. Come on, son. Run. 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 That's good ground. That is good ground made up. We have a chance. We have a chance. Just keep it focused. Come on. Not quite. I mean, they could get it back here. We don't want that to happen. We really don't. This is good. Our player. Oh, nearly got the pass away to the right. That would have been great. Extract it. Out to the left. Really big pass. Not quite. That's gone to strike to them. No. They're just going to try and get it out here. Got a jackal for this. And hands in the rook. And that's a foul. Well, we tried a little bit too hard there. And, of course, what they're going to do is just try and get it out. Keep it in. Keep it in. We've kept it in. Good. That's it. That'll do. Obviously, they're going to try and get it out here. You would have thought... I might be wrong, but they might try and get this out. We're going to try with all our might, believe me, to try and get something here. But I don't think it's going to happen. Bassett gets tackled straight away. He's going to need a real last-minute bit of magic to get something out of this for the Wasps. It looks like we're going to start our campaign with a defeat. Or are we? Come on! I mean, we're an absolute mile out, aren't we? So I don't think it's going to happen. Especially now that uh, that's happened. But Young, launch me. We're just not getting the passes away. We're too slow. But, uh, well, they've got it. And, I mean, we could concede another one here. But it's almost worth it, isn't it, just to try and uh, win this, potentially. But, well, they've got it. Again, we're not great defensively. And Bristol Bears have got two tries. And they've definitely won the match now. Well, we've got some room to improve, but positive signs. Um, we've just got to be a little bit better attackingly. I mean, defensively, obviously, we have as well. We were running around like headless chickens. Um, so we've got to improve our defensive manner. But for a first match on Rugby 20, we didn't do too badly. We didn't do too badly. It's a loss, which is a shame in a match that arguably we should have won. I mean, they're not going to miss that, are they? Of course they're not. Callum Sheedy with a successful conversion. And it's going to be 12-0 to the Bristol Bears. They're happy. We're distraught. Well, it's only one match. Hopefully we'll improve in the next one. And that is it for the first match. Well, there you go. We've uh, got a little bit of reward here. But, um, no idea. Saracens. It's usually the correct answer, isn't it, for uh, anything decent, Saracens. Um, but if you did enjoy that first pilot episode, make sure you leave a like down below. It is massive, um, you leaving a like on this episode, because this is just a pilot. If you guys want to see more, make sure you leave a like, because it will encourage me even more. Um, to make further episodes of this series. That's how you enjoyed that. Make sure you leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game and my play. And anything we can do to improve. I really appreciate that. Not being a massive rugby fan. And subscribe for regular 
content on this game. We're away in the next episode against Harlequins, so that'll be an interesting one. A team that didn't do very well in their first game, it seems. Um, Harlequins, how did they get on? They... Where are they? They actually won against Bath. They battered Bath, but only got four points. Uh, because they didn't get any attacking bonuses, etc. But, I mean, we're not doing too badly. Um, I mean, we, we didn't get any sorts of bonuses. But at least our points difference isn't all that bad. Tigers and Exeter sh share the top of the table at the moment. Hopefully, in our next match against Harlequins, we can go some way towards doing that. Thank you very much for watching. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.